Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another FIFA 20 video where today we're going to be doing another formation check, this time on the 4 triple two. So if you do enjoy the content and you do want to see more and you are pumped for FIFA 21, make sure you drop a sub on the channel. It would be much appreciated. So this 4 triple two, I kind of have a bit of a love-hate sort of relationship with this 4 triple two. Uh, sometimes I'll use this formation and it plays like a treat and then other times I'll play this formation and it's kind of like not the best. It, you know, it just kind of feels a bit incomplete. Where I feel like this formation does struggle a little bit is I do find it is very, very easy for your opponents to kind of like play through the middle of the pitch. So what's important is to try and keep this formation, I think, as narrow as possible. So in terms of the tactics, these are the tactics I ended up settling on. Now, in terms of defensive style, uh, this formation doesn't work great in a press. So I think balance is definitely the way to go. Now, we've gone quite narrow on the defense. Like I said, the reason why we've gone that is because I find that this formation is really easy to play through the middle. I find it's like really open because you don't have like a central cam or like a central like box to box midfielder. Your opponent, especially if they have a CDM in their team, they have just so much time on the ball. There's no one there. That, you know, there's no one there to be able to sort of press them and, and kind of put some pressure on them. So I find it's really easy for people to play through the middle against you. So I've gone quite narrow on the defense. Um, it is going to leave a bit more space out wide, but I never found that that was a massive issue in this formation. Depth wise, standard as always, kept it on around about five. Fast build up works really well for this formation, especially in that attacking trio. You know, those four guys up top, the two wide cams, two strikers. Uh, that they, they, works very, very well. You know, the two CDMs link up, link up quite nicely to the cams. The cams then link up really nicely to the strikers. So fast build up will work very, very well for this one. Offensive width, I've gone for around about four. Um, I do like to have quite a narrow sort of offensive style. This is kind of more to do with like the midfielders. I like the midfielders to be quite tight. So, so the wide cams, it is it is going to make this formation quite narrow. But I do find, especially with the instructions we've got on the, uh, the wide cams, we are going to find that those guys are still going to have a little bit of space. And then the players in the box, corners and free kicks is standard as always. In terms of keeper and back four, sweep keeper and the back four, of course, is all on stay back while attacking. Uh, pretty much standard as normal. I've tried like uh, balanced a little bit recently. I've tried to kind of like, I've wanted to like play a little bit more on the front foot. Um, you just get ripped apart, uh, ripped apart, especially against like top level players. Maybe if you play against some like lower quality opponents, like this wouldn't be something that's so much of an issue. But when you're playing like top level opponents, uh, you know, unfortunately, I'm I'm in Division One, and when you play against like those type type of players, you know, you play on like a balance, you, you just get ripped apart because they are good players as well. Uh, so that's just kind of not the way to play. So if you maybe you're in a lower division, you can maybe play on on balance, but I think if you're in a higher division, uh, stay back while attacking is a must. The two box to box mids, Cruz and Tevez, cut passing lanes. Um, definitely the way we want to play in this formation. It's really important that you do try and cut passes out as much as possible. Stay back while attacking. Uh, kind of obvious and then cover center, you know, we want these guys. I want these guys covering the middle um, you, you know, this could be one way you could have a case for covering the wing But like I've said for me, I've I, when I played this formation I find that the midfield uh, is very easy for people to play against you So I don't want them or my CDMs Drifting out wide because then it's just gonna make it even even worse So I definitely want them covering the center so for Messi and the Barlow the instructions as you can see are exactly the same We've got to get into the box across I want these guys getting in you know these guys uh, Messi, Dybala, Ronaldo, Lewandowski, their job is just to score. They've got no defensive duty. So I don't really want those guys getting back in and getting involved in the defensive play there. There's plenty of players back to be able to do that. So their job is just to attack. So I want them getting into the box. We've then got them on free roam as well. Now, this is kind of where the offensive width, you know, being a little bit narrower, that's kind of more for the midfielders. You want those a bit narrower. But these guys on free roam means they're going to drift. Obviously, they're going to drift. They're going to try and create space. They're going to drift into that middle. They're going to drift into that middle area of the pitch where it is a little bit more tricky for your opponents to kind of pick them up. So free roam is definitely effective. It worked it work, work, work quite nicely because these guys are wide cams as well. So that one time will drift into the middle. One will make runs in behind. It would just work very, very nicely. And then up top, we've got Lewandowski and Ronaldo. I've actually got them on balance swift. Now this works well because obviously we don't have any like wide midfielders, wide wingers in the team. So you do want these guys to drift every now and again, drift out wide, especially when you've got like Dybala and Messi on free roam. Sometimes they're going to drift into the middle. Maybe the striker drifts out to the left or to the right. So it just, it, it's kind of interchanging and it, it works very, very well. It's very effective. Uh, of course, we want to use getting behind as well. Want those guys to utilize their pace, but I don't want these guys on comeback on defense or anything like that. You know, I want them to just be attacking and really trying to on the front foot. So that is the four triple two. Um, a formation, like I said, I have a bit of a love hate relationship with it. I, I kind of sometimes I use it and I feel like it is it is just an absolute diamond of a formation. It works very very well. And then other times I use this formation 
and I just feel like I just kind of get obliterated and I just can't get anything going. So it's kind of a love-hate relationship I have with this formation. Uh, at the moment, I'm quite enjoying it, but I'm sure in the next couple of days that will definitely change. Uh, but like I said, I'm trying a lot of different formations out, trying a lot of different things, trying to trying to really improve for FIFA 21. So best way to do that is to experiment with different formations, different styles, and, and just see what works for you. So if you did enjoy the video and you do want to see more, make sure you do drop a thumbs up. Make sure you follow us down below on all the socials. If you hit that subscribe button, if you're excited for FIFA 21 and what's coming out in FIFA 21. Appreciate all you guys' support. You, you're still showing, so many of you are showing great support on the vid still, um, even though we're like mid-June, nearly August. So I do appreciate all you guys massively. It is, you know, it's incredible support you're showing. So massive thank you to all you guys. But that's all for today, guys. Have an awesome day. I'm out.